Have you been scrolling through many, many, many film podcasts thinking there's far too many of these? Or have you been thinking there's something missing? There's something we're not quite getting. A waffler from Northern England reviewing films, for example. Welcome to Ah, oh, review it yourself. No politics, no pandering, no point. Welcome everyone, welcome to Ah, oh, review it yourself for once, you lazy sod. Uh, you listen to Sean, I'm joined once again by Bill. And I say that as if it's bad, it's not. We wait all week for this. I wait weeks for this. All week, man. Literally, every time he delays it, it, it hurts my heart. It really yeah, hey, me. hey, come on. It hurts my heart too, man. That's why I was like, I was like so excited. I was like, wait, it was like it all worked out. I, I was able to watch the movie. Like, I got a free schedule today. Let's let's do it. Yeah, I literally just finished watching it. And honestly, I don't care how much stick this gets me on indie podcasts or anything like that. This film's decent. Like, just just calm it down a bit. Like, this gets so it much is. stick, this film. It is. I mean, it's it's not like Independence Day Resurgence or like the movie 2017, just calm your oh, jets. Gosh. It's not that bad. But people like love to stick the boot into it. I've never seen so much interaction for one with, with my podcast. And then, so I promise, I asked if I could read this out from the Diabolical Podcast. Great name. Quote, so the CGI is weirdly terrible and Ray Winston is pointless and confusing. But apart from that, I don't hate this. It's okay. End quote. Which sounds kind of like one of your... <laughs> sounds it kind does. of like a bad review. But I kind of get that. But we'll get into it. So, yep, yeah, I'm joined by Bill from Bill Reads Bad Reviews. I kind of forget half the time to kind of introduce you because at this point, it's Bill. Uh, doesn't it's everybody Bill. know who I am? Come on. I, ho- I hope so. Your favorite Englishman-Texan combo? The, the dynamic duo of movie reviews? Who doesn't want that? Positive. Who doesn't want that? Positive, pessimistic, it goes together beautifully. A few vodka lemonades thrown in there, who cares? <laughs> Not usually, though. <laughs> Not usually, though. Not usually. I'm usually sober as a judge. Uh, so, yeah, if you haven't realised, everybody, we're here to... I don't know why you would have, unless you read the title. We're here to review Indiana Jones, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Should I say the that again? Infamous, the most infamous entry... In the Indiana Jones franchise. Well, I mean, let's let let's just put it out there. It's not as good as the other three. It can't be. Yeah, yeah, it was never going to be. Never going to be. But, I mean, once the fifth one's come out, I think this will look like a, an absolute masterpiece, but let's not get True. into that yet. Um, but, yeah, I, I think the opening's great as well. There's just a few... I mean, I, I don't think I got to this point until about three and a half pages in. But there's just... The problem with this film is there's... Some odd creative choices is what I would say. There's some very strike like, right at the start. There's those little what are the bill? You'll know you're American. Those are they gophers or what are they? Oh, those what little, are they called? Um, oh gosh, what are they? Were they? The little family. It was, of... it was on screen for like three seconds, and I was like, I caught it. I was like, wait, what? What do we yeah. just see there? Um, shoot, man, I don't know. It's somewhere out in New Mexico, I think. That's still I, don't, I don't even know what they are. That's still America, though, isn't it? <laughs> it is. But I have no idea what lives out there in the desert and crawls around the holes. We'll just call them gophers. I thought Again, it I, don't was. Know, I don't know how they live out there anyways, because they're dropping nukes. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. That's another thing people can't stand, the whole nuke the fridge thing. I love it. They couldn't get, I remember when it came out, people could not, could not get over that. But the thing is, though, this is the same Indiana Jones series that has had like men ripping out other men's hearts whilst the men who've had the hearts are still alive. It's like, really? This is what makes you go, hang on a minute. This isn't realistic. This like, is where they get hung up. You? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, apparently they are gophers. Apparently. Yeah, they are gophers. CGI gophers. CGI Why gophers. Why not? Well, because it's too much. Even Spielberg in like the, because I've got a two disc special edition as you saw, Bill. What I nicely saw spotted, that. nicely spotted. Um, even in that, like Spielberg said, George spent years trying to convince me, and he's like, and I think he says something on the lines of, "Oh, George, not aliens, not aliens." And then Spielberg eventually gives in and goes, "All right, George, whatever you want," because Lucas 
his creative choices over the past 20 years haven't divided anyone with director's cuts. Right. <laughs> um, so so yes. I'm not even a Star Wars guy and I know that stuff. Um, and you just think, oh, okay. Like, I don't mind the nuclear stuff, to be fair. I think it's all right. Um, I did like the idea, the whole 1947 Roswell. I right. thought, yeah, the, the beginning is really good. I think people get a bit stick. I don't know what you thought, though. No, I agree. I watching it back because I remember the first time. Honestly, I think I've only seen it. Maybe it was once, and maybe it was in theaters. I really don't remember seeing it outside of theaters. And I remember just leaving with such a horrible taste. And of course, being the same thing. It's like can't believe this movie. How is this Anina Jones? Blah 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 blah. Well, you wouldn't be that old, will you? It caught so much flack. When did this come out? I forget now. Two thousand and eight. So you'd have been about what fourteen? No, to younger. Yeah, maybe. fourteen, about fifteen. Right. Yeah, about right. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. And so I, I think I went into it because now reach watching it, I have so many different ideas. But yeah, I love the intro and everything else. And I feel like it is such a good job. I was like, I went into it then wanting to see like the next big like addition to the franchise, <laughs> the next big, like, I can't wait to be wild. I've seen all the other ones. I loved all the other ones. I was ready to be there. And, uh, but now I was like, I went and I was like watching, I was like, you know what? Hey, it's Indiana Jones. Like, let's watch Indiana Jones. Yeah. And I feel like I appreciated it so much more this time around. Yeah, I think the problem with, Films, especially if you're like if you're our age, because I'm, I'm I'm only a couple of years older than you. Uh, shocking. Our age? What do you mean our uh, age, Sean? Yeah. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> All right, Bill, we get it. You can't. So how old is Sean? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you start? Don't start with me, Bill. Um, <laughs> uh, not only a couple of years older than you. I just don't have that tanned American beautiful teeth look. I'm not saying English people have bad teeth. It's because I'm just out in the sun too long, man. Yeah, if I was out in the sun too long, I'd just like red. But anyway, so what was I talking about? What with yeah, so the film, <laughs> you know, it's 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 all right. I think people give it a lot of stick. I think it's popular to just kind of stick the boot into it, and it's like really, as fourth installments go, it's not too bad. But I think the first three are seen as so iconic. Should they have done it? Mm, I don't know. Probably not. Um, should they have done a fifth one? <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, <laughs> but I think. The problem is, is that I think sometimes films get better as, as they get older. So I think mm -hmm. this, I mean, this is about, this is 14 years, Bill, since this came out. Yeah. I mean, I was 16 when this came out. Like, I'm 30 now. But that's a long time. That's a half my life-ish. It's a long time. I thought the opening was great. It looked beautiful. Indy's entrance is sublime, by the way. It is. The I got, I, I, don't know about, I don't know about you, man. I still got chills whenever yeah. he, like, he first picks up the hat and, like, turns around. I was like, oh. Gosh, I was like, love to see it, man. Yeah. Love to see it. It's great. People have said this a few times to me on podcasts that like I seem to be a little bit ironic considering the, my biggest audience, but I seem to be a little bit anti-American in terms of like, oh god, not another American comedy. But Americans. some things your, your favorite gif, man, from the mummy. Yes, it really is. He's, <laughs> it's he's so Scott, good though. He's Scottish it's so though. good. He's Scottish <laughs> also, it still doesn't fit for me. Americans. But uh, <laughs> But the thing is, with like this film, you're like you watch it. Like Indiana Jones is just unbelievable, um, and I'm just like, yes, I'm I'm in for this. The music's great. It's just messed up. I finished this film feeling like heartwarming. And you know me, Bill. You've listened to my reviews. How often do it's I say true. that about films? Like it doesn't happen. It's true often. ever. Yeah, exactly. The Mummy, Mummy Returns. You know, apart from that, you don't get much heartwarming yeah, there. No. And I love the whole, the whole, it's obviously the warehouse from the beginning of uh, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got top men working on it right now. Who? Top men. That whole. Yeah, <laughs> that whole, yeah I love that part. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love the fact that Indiana Jones's last words were going to be, I like, I like. I'd like that's, the, the fact those are his last words, like, yes, that'll do. Yes. I'll say, like, for there's some parts that throughout the movie I'm like I was like who's writing this but there's times like that where he's like they're about to just like kill him he's like I like Ike I was like let's go dude yeah. I was like oh gosh like that's the that's the essence in the character that we want in Indiana Jones yeah definitely the whole bit of the opinion where he sees the like the, the Russians dragging off the, oh Soviets Russia whatever dragging off the, the Americans bodies and it's just and he just says to her like drop dead I can't not have any part of this yeah and then I think he realizes I've got to play along long enough to escape um and i just and the whole thing around this is another thing about the criticism of this film you just can't get away from it so let's it's no point no. even trying no the fact that people were like upset that there were so many jokes made 
at the expense of his age. And it's like, well, if you didn't, the problem is if you didn't make those comparisons, people would have gone, well, it's a 57-year-old pretending to be 30. They would have. You know what people are like. You know, so the whole thing, like, oh, damn, I thought that was closer. Like, I I thought that was decent. Like, it's not it's not a bad thing, like, to, to acknowledge how much older he is, but also he's still... There's a few parts, like, most of the film, you don't think of him as, like, an old man. You just think... Yeah. He, it's just Indiana Jones, he's older, he's more... You know, it's like they address it in that first scene perfectly of this isn't going to be as easy, not as easy as it used to be. And I just thought, yeah, that's exactly the point you should make that it's not going to be perfect, but we'll, we'll it'll still get out of it. It's in yeah, Jones. and that, that's that's still like the whole and I felt like the humor kind of like really flowed with it, too. I didn't feel like it was weird or had aged like Indiana had. But um, but like the whole the whole first three, I was like, what do you see in the first movie? You see so many goofy ridiculous silly jokes and it's, that's just like part of his like character i was like he's very sarcastic he's very like abrasive he's very just like i don't know in his own humor in that way and so it's like when it, towards the end when he started <laughs> he's very american <laughs> like even at the end when he's like him and uh marion are getting like in a yelling match i'm like that's classic yeah, indie yeah. i said yeah. the man has still got it i said oh, say yeah, what absolutely. you want yeah say what you want he looks great and he's still got it i mean it's it's funny because because it'd be interesting to Maybe we should cover this film, Bill, but I remember when I saw Indiana Jones, uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, I thought it was all right. But then when I saw Cowboys versus Aliens, whichever one it was, I thought mm. he looked more like, he, he seemed to be having more fun in that than in really? this. Yeah, I, like when I, first, I haven't seen, I think I've seen that film once in cinemas. Like, wh- I mean, when did that come out? Like 2009, maybe? It wasn't. I think it was 2009, somewhere around there. Yeah. So that would be interesting to look at. But I remember watching that and thinking, you're having the fun in this, you should have had it in Indiana Jones. But, you know, I, and I think your perspective changes as you get older as well. I think you get used to films. and I think sometimes you need to leave a bit of a gap to go back to a film and go, okay, I, was that actually any good or was I just really harsh on it? Because, yeah. I mean, by the time we grew up old enough to watch the Indiana Jones films, they'd been made for years. So you kind of go, oh, they're classic, they're amazing. But we weren't around when they came out. Like, the Temple of Doom got so much stick for being yep. dark and ominous that they like kind of reverted to tact in the third one and made it but there's so many points in this and we'll, we'll get to them don't you worry Bill we'll get and audience <laughs> where, <laughs> where like Indy acts so much like his dad it's unreal there's so many throwback moments that yeah are, like subtle and they're not so subtle but I just I loved it but you're right to your point of like leaving some time like between a film it's it's like um it's like whenever we went to see the movie in theaters Everybody knew it was going to be about aliens. Of course, that had, that yeah. that was everywhere. And so everybody was like, oh, aliens, aliens, aliens. Like, that's what everybody was so hung up on. So when we went to see the movie, all we could think about was aliens. Yeah. And so, but now watching the back, I was like, there's so many good fight scenes. There's yeah. so many that are classic indie. You have the classic, like, um, with like the, the punch sound effects and stuff. Like, you oh, can yeah. obviously tell. It's, like, yeah. oh, it's horribly fake, but it's so classic. Oh, yeah, of course it is. There's so many good, like, um, car chase scenes. There's a scene of him on with Shia LaBeouf on the motorcycle going through the freaking college. I'm like, that's just, yeah. that's what I want, to, I want to see in an Indiana Jones movie. There's a sword fighting on the back of Jeeps. I mean, come on. Yeah. That's, what, that's what I want to see. Yeah. I mean, did you know that the kid is, I think, one of Tom Hanks' sons? The the, the guy who says to him, uh, Dr. Jones, I've got a question about that. That's one of Tom Hanks' sons. It's is not it really? Col- it's not Colin Hanks. Not Colin. In, I was going to say, it didn't look like he's it. In, no, he's in Band of Brothers. I think it's his younger. I want to say Chet. And that's off the, that's way back in my brain. Way back. <laughs> I might be wrong. I think it's Chet Hanks. Hey, Tom Hanks Hanks is right behind you looking at you, so you better get it right. Yeah, man. it really is. In fact, he's behind <laughs> me twice. He's there as he's well. Twice. Um, yeah. So yeah. Um <laughs> for anybody listening, I've got a Angels and Demons and Da Vinci Code um poster behind me. And a speed two cruise control. So don't say I don't have yeah. to Oh god, that film. It's but it's so... like this time through I realize how honestly how insignificant aliens itself is to the entire movie well, they're not it's like such aliens. a small part yeah they're, they're, or, you know yeah international you know the, how, how what does shia labeouf call me calls him uh, no 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 it's it's uh, it's uh it's our very own john well my very own like the, my country's very own john hurt uh god rest him um he says they are uh, interdimensional beings in point of fact whatever the hell that means yeah uh, so they kind of like, buff calls them spacemen or something oh, like that. what are these spacemen that's another point <laughs> of shia buff has been like the boot gets kicked into him yep but apparently even even harrison ford kind of because shia buff was very critical of the film and felt they kind of dropped the ball as politely as i can put it he shia buff said we kind of dropped the ball on the fourth one whereas uh 
Well, if anybody wants to find out, because I, I don't swear when I'm talking to Bill, because it's not right. It doesn't feel right. It hurts it my doesn't heart. Feel but, right. <laughs> <laughs> just Bill's so sweet and innocent. It just doesn't happen. But um, anybody wants to find out what Harrison Ford said about Shia LaBeouf, go and have a look at it, because he basically said, you know, sometimes it's, he it basically said something on the lines of, um, you know, there's, ta- there's a time to advertise your movie, but you don't have to be a something. And I won't say that because it'll upset America. And uh, anyway, so go and have a search for that, anybody, if you want to find out what that was. So there was a little bit behind the scenes of afterwards where Charlie Booth was like, oh, we dropped the ball. And in, and Harrison Ford was like, look, just calm yourself down. We're supposed to promote this film, you know, even if it wasn't yeah. as amazing as we wanted. I loved the, I mean, the, the whole, I think there's some, honestly, and I'm not just saying this to like, it's not a hate click or any of that crap. Uh, it, it, genuinely, the whole nuclear town part of it, I love that stuff. I think that's so interesting. The whole he like runs it in the town. He's like, oh, hey, you guys, I had a, I thought you had a phone, and the, like plastic, the, like mannequins. mannequins, yeah. And then he like climbs in the fridge, and everyone's going. That film, this film's added kind of instead of jump the shark, it's added like nuclear fridge to where like a, a film or a TV series jumps the reality. But I'm like. Really? Have you been watching these films? Like they've not been realistic. So it's just like I love the scene with where he flies out in the fridge, and I, I thought that scene was really, really creepy for anyone who's looked or researched any part of the Cold War about how America was acting at that time, and how um, the Soviet Union was acting at that time. Like it's so spot on about how that you know they were seeing. I think Jim Broadbent, our very own Jim Broadbent, says about. Um, you know, I don't, I don't recognize this country anymore. It's got us seeing, you know, reds in our in our soup. And I was yeah. like, yeah, that's spot on. That's exactly what was happening. Like, even in films, there was like Hollywood directors that were blacklisted in America, so I had to come to Europe and and essentially start again under a new name because they'd been, I don't know, linked to some spurious, you know, communist or socialist yeah. or whatever. So it, I like the fact they moved because they had to. I mean, they weren't, they couldn't exactly have India against Nazis, even though the new film apparently has that. We're not going to get into that. Uh, like, uh, they had to move it on, and it, it, I think it suits. Uh, did you feel that, Bill? Or... No, definitely. I feel like they did such a great job with it, too. And again, I love the whole Nuketown thing. It's like, it's like whenever he gets in there, like, the, the Russians take off, and you just feel you just feel from, like, chasing after the bad guys, like, hey, yeah. give me a ride. Give me a <laughs> Get me out of here, man. Like it's that's just that... classic ending. He's like, he's like, wait, what? Where am I? Don't wait for me. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I, love, I love the the music in that. It's and I don't know what the song is, and maybe I don't know if you will know, Bill. I think it must be quite old. But the song she's like, and how do you do to you? And how do you yes. do to you? And you very thinking, classic fifties, and it's 50s like rock and roll. You're watching it like seriously, dude. You're gonna you're gonna melt. Get out of there, and you can see him like Jesus. What like what the hell do I do? And then yeah. he realizes like the fridge lead lines, you know, ah, ha, ha, radiation. But I, I'll take it. It's Indiana Jones. Like, if you you know you're not going to this film to see like Chernobyl, you know, a, a realistic series. It's not going to happen. Right. Just, no, like, I want to go see Indiana Jones. And it's like then you can. I mean, of course he survived a nuclear blast. He's Indiana Jones. Yeah, man. of course he did. I it's love the fourth this. movie. We should know this by now. <laughs> <laughs> I love the scene though afterwards where he's getting like decontaminated, isn't he, by the guys in like the yeah. and everything. And there's the guy like at his crotch, and he just like picks the brush up and puts it on his chest like yeah that's not happening because like, <laughs> yeah. he's just standing there just getting scrubbed down yeah that was so good with the with the guys with the uh, the gaga meters it's like all that like ticking noise um then we get the whole the the background of of what's been going on um and i just i just really enjoyed it you get um that scene a lovely scene in his house where he, he decides to leave the country um he's going to come to england good lad and uh, <laughs> I mean London, but you know you can't fault the guy. He says, "Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. Like uh, I'd, I'm gonna go and teach in Leipzig, uh, which is in Germany. If 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 people didn't know, um, I think I hope it. Yeah, it is. Um, and he's like, right, I'm getting out of here. Um, and yeah, that's why he gets on the train. But there's that lovely scene in his house where he says to, um, it, well, it's Marcus Brody's replacement because unfortunately the actor had passed away. Um, played by Jim Broadbent. He says, you know. Rough couple of years, first Marcus, then Dad, and it's it plays the beautiful Last Crusade music, and at the right. beginning it plays the um uh, the, the Raiders of the Lost Ark music when they see the Ark of the Covenant. There's a few nice little throwbacks there because I don't think I don't know about you, Bill. I don't think cinema was at the point where to kind of 
this film validates itself on its own and it throws a few bits in for you for like long term fans to go, oh my god, yeah, look what it is. Whereas oh, films yeah. now I feel they throw these things in like, look, this validates us. We've got this from the old ones, and you go, hold on a minute, that's not right. But this film I think does it right. I don't know what you felt. No, absolutely. I, I mean, I was I was freaking uh I was I was cheesing so hard when I saw Sean Connery's picture on his desk and just like pants too and like you yeah. said just cuts to the uh, the music I was like ah I was like let's go I know it was a oh, blessing yeah I mean they're, they're apparently um I mean Sean Connery p- passed a couple of years ago um but it, when the film came out they offered they said to him do you want to come back and he was like look I'm in the Bahamas I'm I, can you live there and I'm enjoying retirement too much thanks but no thanks um, yeah and obviously we found out later that he. Yeah, was it dementia or Alzheimer's? Um, it was one of those, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Um, so whether he could have come back, I don't know. But it's irrelevant. I think keep your memories as they were. It was lovely, right. to, lovely to have that. Um, but yeah, I, I thought that scene was... Like, that's what I mean, like this film. There's like there's emotion in there. It's not all... It's not like a cash grab or anything like that. No, it's not. It, honestly, it's one of the furthest from it for being a fourth movie, especially. Because I felt like they were the furthest from it for being so far into the series. Do you know what it feels like? This is such a random comparison, but stick with me. Oh, Everybody. No. Bill, Bill's with me, I think. But other people are <laughs> like, what are, you, what are you talking about, man? Scream 4, right? Hmm. A film that comes so much... Uh, well, it wasn't as late. But a film that comes so much later than the rest of them, it kind of goes, yeah, we know what we're harking back to. But we're actually our own beast. And this is what we're going to do. Um, and it, it it felt like this film quite felt like quite a nice bookend to the the first three. It's <laughs> never mind the next one, but it felt like quite a nice finish. Yeah. Um, no, and, for sure, I can see that. And and you've got the whole thing. There's some lovely throwbacks, like the whole thing with Shia LaBeouf's character, who I I didn't because I remember thinking, oh god, yeah, his character ruins it. But when you watch it, it's like no, he doesn't. He doesn't. He, like, he has he has such a freaking cheesy intro, like when the, when those two guys jump on the train and then he rides oh, yeah. out in his, yeah, his yeah. motorcycle with his jacket and his goofy hat that we only see his goofy hat once. And then I don't know if you noticed <laughs> it, but he changes from a white t shirt to like a, a like a gray t shirt with a black collar underneath his le- leather jacket just midway through the movie, just randomly, no explanation. Uh, no, I hadn't noticed. Nice Changes outfit. Though. I don't know why. I don't know why I noticed. That. I was like, wait, he's wearing a different shirt. I was like, why do I notice these things? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's, it's not a bad entrance. It's very stereotypically American. No offense. He's on the motorbike, you know, zoom, zoom. Because he's a greaser, down. yeah. So he's yeah, got the he's whole leather greaser, and yeah. motorcycle, all that good stuff. Yeah, and I love the fact, you know, they're making the, the stereotypical, and it is, stereoty- st- <clears throat> Jesus, spit your teeth out, stereotypical 50s diner. Uh, yeah. The greasers versus the jocks, they have a fight. I'm going to clue what either of those words mean, but we'll carry on. Um, <laughs> they have a fight. Um, and I just, I love the whole, and the whole, the script's really sharp for the majority of this film as well. I think that's something that's unfairly thrown at it. That it I think the script's smart. Like, you know, when he's talking, Indy's talking to Mo, and the, you, you see the whole point of what kind of name's that? Oh, it's a name I chose. You've got a problem with it. Whereas Indiana Jones is not his name. Indiana. Yep. We named the dog Indiana. That's we named the, the dog. It's exactly. You know, yeah. And you're thinking, yeah, okay, I get it. Um, and the scene where he says, you know, I think you brought a knife to a gunfight, which funny enough for anyone who's a fan of films, one of my favorite films that I haven't reviewed yet, but I did on my old podcast uh, with my friend uh, is the untouchables 1987 with Sean Connery. And he says, so good. Yeah. Unbelievable. He so says to a, to a guy in that, you know, isn't that just like a something? Uh, it's an offensive word for Italians. He says, isn't that just like a something? Uh, brings a knife to a gunfight. And I thought, is that meant to be a throwback? Because it feels like one, but obviously it would have been a bit of a weird one. But yeah, I love that bit. Um, and the whole bit is like, Indiana Jones is like, oh, hit this guy. And then they end up having the fight. And it you have yeah. the, the rock and roll music kicks in. Yeah. You know, well, Elvis, is, is it Hound Dog, I think? Yeah, it's Hound Dog, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and it's like, yeah, this, this is... This is exactly what you want. 
but it was just so cool to like see him just like punch that one guy and then it's like they kind of like square up it's like you have like the, the one side and the other side and then they kind of go at it you see the bottles and the chairs and everything yeah, like, guy guy over the, the bar. bottle he just smashes the bottle just, that guy. i mean like, just goes oh. bananas i'm like wait yeah. what's happening but it's like honestly at the same time this like this is a fight scene i want to see in this and then like they're able to escape out the side of course you know the whole motorcycle chase ensues but i was like yeah just hit that guy and, like so many times they did that just to get out of stuff they just started a fight with some random person yeah, definitely. I think a lot of the a lot of the problem people have with this film is they remember the bad CGI stuff towards the towards the end with the as soon as they get into the jungle, it starts to get a bit silly. But th- there's so much physical stuff done in this. There is even given it's 2008, like the motorbike chase, and yeah, there's clearly a few stunt actors in there. But of course, there up, is. Wake up, it's people. You know, it's good God, it's 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 a movie, people. It's a film. English it's a people. film. Um, <laughs> like, and there's some beautiful throwbacks. You know, Indiana Jones says that, tomorrow, you know, this is crazy. And then he, and even later on, he says this is intolerable, which is exactly what his dad says to him uh, when they're getting shot up by the, the, you know, the Nazi plane. Um, and just, just that's just such a good scene. You know, you got them going past. And he's like, I love the bit where he's like on the back of the motorbike. And he's like punching the guy through the yeah. window. And then he gets dragged through the and window. he pulls him through. Oh, you see his legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes <laughs> round, the, round the car and it pulls him back on the motorbike. Like, I love that stuff. I absolutely loved it. Great stunts. I know. And that's what I'm talking about. It's like everybody just sees this movie as just like the Aliens movie of Indiana Jones. I'm like, honestly, it's maybe a good 15 to 20 minutes at the end where we actually, it all comes together. But honestly, everything else, especially the motorbike scene, I mean, just so many good practical stunts, chase scenes, fights, everything. Everything that we would want in an Indiana Jones movie. That's how I felt about it this time. Like I said before, it's like I went back into it just wanting to see Indiana Jones, not wanting to see the, the next big, you know, addition. Like, how is this going to wow me? But I was like, man, it's like so many good, so many good scenes, so many good stunts, especially like you said, for 08, dude. I'll see yeah. most of those probably could have been done CGI by somebody else, but they said no. You know, given this is the same year that Iron Man comes out. Oh, yeah. When you put it into perspective, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, wow, okay, yeah. They've they really kind of kept it practical. I think that was a very conscious decision from them. Um, but it was, yeah, I mean, I mean, oh, I love that, yeah, the bit with Tom Hanks is somewhere. It's like, you want to be a good archaeologist? you got to get out of the library. Such, yes, dude. <laughs> you know what? Just, oh, yeah. Like, no, it's, it's, it's so good because it's like, especially lines like that that would feel so cheesy if you were just like, if there's any other movie, but if, like for Indiana Jones to say that for Harrison Ford, oh, like yeah. that be part of the script. I was like, that's, I mean, it's like perfect dead on man. Yeah. Dead absolutely. on the writing. Um, and I love the whole bit about um, where he says, oh, when, when they go to Ox's cell and it's like, Oh, it's a riddle. And and the expression that, that the Indiana Jones Harrison Ford gives is so much like Sean Connery's when he's, he's got the, in last crusade, but he's smashed him over the head with the vase and he goes, it's a fake. It's so much like that. I'm like, was that on purpose? Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. just seen yep. it? Yep. <laughs> so many throwbacks. I, I I just, I really enjoyed it. Um, And then the whole bit about Pancho Villa. Because the, there's so many amazing bits in this where Indiana Jones talks about his life. Like, Indiana Jones has done some ridiculous things like Pancho Villa and the whole like, oh, well, technically I was kidnapped. He's just so like, nonchalant about it the graveyard seems great where they've got those guys like the i don't know mayans or whatever they are that keep jumping yeah in, and then jumping through a hole and just disappearing it's like coming and like attack them yeah. a little bit and disappear again yeah. it's like you're a teacher and that whole that whole bit i just the whole, great. like some of the best indiana jones like comedic shtick is whenever like the one of them pops up to shoot shia labeouf and then indy pops up right in front of him and just blows the dart back into yeah. his throat <laughs> i was well, like come on yeah, because I've seen people argue about it, like, well, the dart would be on the the poison would only be on the front of the dart, so the guy shouldn't have collapsed. I'm like, the guy's fainted. If someone pops up in front of you and blows the dart back into your own throat, I'm pretty sure you're gonna react like, yeah. I'm say poison or not, that's still a sharp object going back into <laughs> yeah. your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I said, like, oh, I would have been fine. There's no poison on that, and I would have been totally okay. Yeah. This is so unreal. <laughs> I was totally with, stupid. That, that's like one of your reviews. I was totally with the film all the way through, but the minute he blew that blow down back in the guy's mouth, I was like, Forget I'm it. done. I'm out. I that's my, where they lost me. I dropped my hot dog and walked out. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> I dropped the hot dog, but it's like twelve bucks a piece. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh. Sorry for the accent, Americans. I do apologize, but uh, <laughs> I, I can't do an English accent either. I have really enjoyed it. 
I just oh the oh that scene as well where it's like they unwrap the guy that like the mummy guy the Mayan guy mm-hmm. and then it's like and then his face like does one of the conquistadors thing. the conquistadors yeah. cheers though uh, <laughs> and like his face like all goes in and his nose practically falls off and Shia yeah. booth like Mutt's like oh my god what the hell has just happened and Indiana Jones is just like he's been dead like. He's been dead for 500 years. Air doesn't agree with him. I was like, yes, what a line yep. that is. Love Air that doesn't thing. agree with him. <laughs> That's so good. It's like perfectly preserved and it's like cut open for just a few minutes and he's yeah. gone. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty rough. Um, and then of course the Soviets return. Uh, Mac. Oh, God. this is not. Th- oh, God, I sound like you. Oh, God, man. Oh, there's a bit, come there's on. A bit where, yeah. Come on, a, man. That's another massive part of the criticism that people say, oh, Red Winston's character. Who plays Mac? Like he's a, he's a double agent. He's a triple agent. He's a, and it's like no, he's just. I realized I didn't realize, but watching it back this time and analyzing it, no, he's he pretends to be on Indy's side and he's on the Soviet side, and then to continue to be with Indy, he says he's a double agent, which means oh, I'm not with I'm with you. And at the end, yeah. he says oh, I'm with the Soviets as well. It's like no, he was always with the Soviets because he wants money. Ironically, capitalist. Because ah, oh, can I do the accent? Can I do it? Can I do it? Oh god. Can you do it? Um having a terrible run on the cards, Jonesy. Jonesy. Bloody, bloody awful. <laughs> bloody awful. Um I'm a capitalist, Jonesy, but they pay better. Oh, I can't do it. But I'll try. Um, I can't do the southern. So uh, the the amount of times he he said Jonesy. Jonesy! Oh, Jonesy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh my god. The bit the bit at the end where he's like getting sucked into the park is like Jonesy. I'll be all right. I'll, I'll be, be all, all right. right. But then it still hangs on. And it's like, <laughs> then and it's, yeah. And it's like, <laughs> just what are you doing? And I was like, he, none of that needed to be a valiant death. Like nothing about that. <laughs> the guy funny. died because he was going to get treasure. He wasn't even a part of anything that was yeah. happening in the other room. He's going out and finding as many yeah, gold yeah. necklaces as he could. I'll tell you who he's like. He's like Benny in the mummy, isn't he? He's like, oh, it, every, something's happening. Yes. Off it, and he's just like shoveling all his gold in. Like, yep. yeah, I want to get away. Ah. Oh. I love Benny. Anyway, that was the whole thing about that. I just, yeah, it was a bit random. Um, oh yeah, the whole bit with Henry Jones Jr. I just, I love that because you have Oct in the back of the like, uh, the back of the car. And he's like Henry Jones Jr. Jr. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds so different, doesn't it? Um, oh yeah, no, that was only that bit. Um, yeah, okay, so. Uh, I'll I'll jump out of this bill and then I'll jump back in. Do it, yeah, do it and then bring us back. I won't be a second in the toilet. Uh, what do you call it? The bathroom, the restroom, the bathroom, the toilet. We call it the toilet. Go to the bathroom. What do you call the toilet? Really? I, I thought it was, I thought it was the loo. I'm surprised you didn't say loo. Loo. The John. I'm not the John. So, the taking a trip to the loo. The John's the Americans, isn't it? Surely. The jo- <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> back in the. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, do you know how much it cr- although to be fair to be fair to America I was going to say do you know how much it makes us cringe when an American tries to talk British it's, it's like, like the oh, most the most horrific. imitated accent on the planet man I know but it's I'm not saying it's ever any good no no I'm just it's, saying it's the most ever imitated it's, it's not my accent though Bill like you I'm a couple of hours from Scotland like, like it's not mine but oh, even it's I not- even I try and do it this is the BBC Home Service. You know, like, see what I mean? It's just, it's <laughs> a slightly different talk. Who was it? It was the um, oh, who's who's the dean? Remind me his name again. Oh, and... I, I can't remember. It's Ju- it's Jim Broadbent, but I can't remember his name. Is it? Oh, I'm blanking on. But he said is it, it, it was in the very beginning. Anyway, because he Anyways, says to because yeah. he says to him like, uh, oh, do you do, uh, what? What did you have to go up? And he's like, he's like, Henry. I resigned. Henry I resigned. Henry. That's right. Yeah, he's uh, Henry. G- yeah, yeah. Jim Broadbent. But now in, the, in the very beginning, I thought about you because what he, he says a word in the very beginning and it was just totally off. Um, what was it? Oh, when he says controversy, he talks about not having somebody, one of his professors be wrapped up in controversy, but he says controversy. I was like, what did he just say? Yeah. I was Contro- like, oh, that's, yeah. the, that's the accent coming through. Uh, con- no, controversy. <laughs> yeah, controversy. Controversy. I was like, uh, I like that. That reminds me there was somewhere else. Oh, yeah. That's what it was that an American put on Twitter and they didn't know what it was. Do you know when you're playing sports, right? Football or whatever, mm-hmm. and you get an injury. But then when you when you get an injury and it's not a bad injury, over here we'd say, oh, it's just a bit of a niggle. N-I-G-G-L-E. 
and the American was like, I don't know what the hell that means. Do you know what I've that means? I've never heard that. Yeah, no. I've, I've got a bit of a niggle. N I double G L E. It just means oh, I've I've pulled something out. It's a bit of a like a sprain I, or something minor. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, like a minor injury. Like or or where something's annoying you, but it's something little, like trivial, something trivial. Like yeah. oh yeah, so and so works niggling at me a bit, but I, I'll I'll get over it. I'll sort it out. That's, <laughs> That's what I mean. So... <laughs> Different words. The controversy. Go... I couldn't get over that. I was like. I so can't have a professor wrapped up in controversy. I was like, what? I was like, the subtitles were on there. So I saw it. I was like, oh, con- <laughs> controversy, my friend. Thing is, though, Bill, it's our language you butchered, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's our language you butchered. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, just like pizza. We're just trying to make things better over here, all right? Come on now. Well, you still have to, you have to try. Uh, I'm, Bill, all right. Pizza isn't if ours, you man. Can, you, you seriously cannot come at us and say you would never try pineapple on pizza. And expect us and expect it to be on the same playing field as somebody else eating a whole bunch of baked beans on some toast. It's not the same. I'm you sorry, get, Sean. You, you guys are I have out to draw the that. line somewhere, man. You guys are freaked out by that. No, do you know what the problem is? We get we don't get proper pineapple on pizza. We get like a horrific do you know like put in the oven at home type pizza with pineapple on? Ooh. We never we never get what would be a proper like, Maybe if we went to a restaurant, we, we just don't. It's not something we kind of do. Yeah. I mean, it's a bit. And I've never been a sweet and sour kind of person anyway. I don't get it. I, I don't like pancakes, English or American. I've never you been. You don't like pancakes? No. Uh, I make some uh, mean pancakes, man. And we also make some what? great homemade pizza before, too. Well, yours, no doubt. I'd enjoy it, but it's because it's made with love. But on the whole, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of love, man. <laughs> But I don't know, there's, there's certain things, like, like popcorn, right? We, we talk about films a lot, right? Yeah, yeah. Movies, right? And especially on your podcast, you're always talking about snacks and all that. And like, generally the reviewers, right? Solid popcorn, what, what sick freak invented that? Like, it's it's sweet. It's supposed to be sweet. Like, I don't, I don't get it. You, you think it's, oh, like salty popcorn? You don't like the salty mm-hmm. popcorn? No, because we I'm get not sweet. a big popcorn guy either. Oh, just, I really, yeah. I'm really not. My wife loves popcorn, and she loves she like that's the deal. It's like she'll go see any movie with me, but I have to buy her popcorn. I was like, all right, deal. Oh, are you, what are you like a natural Perfect guy? Deal. What do you eat when you go? Um, no, no, no I, I usually usually I'll sneak in some kind of chocolate. I don't know. Uh, oh, what For the most part, cho- I'm a, I'm what a chocolate kind of guy. Chocolate, what kind of chocolate? Oh, don't say Hershey's, Bill. That's oh filth. no, 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 no. That's Phil. <laughs> no, we have we we have a few favorites. Um, one of them's called like Who Who Chocolate Bar, like H U. Food yeah. chocolate bars, those are super good. Or there's another one that has ah, what's the name of it? It has like an elephant on it, and it's like they have a great like sea salt caramel dark chocolate bar, and it's amazing. Yeah. It's super good. But yeah, no basic chocolate here, man. We're 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 top notch, top notch chocolate. I'm gonna make re- it amazing, or I'm not eating it. You really aren't. No offense, Bill. America, <laughs> America's not known for its chocolate. I'll try and find out the uh, the hue one. I've never heard that one. But to, they're good drinks as well like i was on with the decision reel and i was talking about trying to find because they they drink on their podcast i don't know if it's yeah. every one but the two i've done with them they drank the first time they drank twisted tea which i can't get over here Oof. at all i can't we, i can't get it bill i can't find anywhere it. i can't order it in for america i can't amazon don't have it i'm lost right and arnold palmer's they, that's not oh, yeah. either. Can't, can't get those either so I mean, I'm at a point where I'm like, I either bribe an American to post it to me, or I'm in a mess. <laughs> Sean, you can make you know, you should do you should do a whole podcast where you just you go through making your own Arnold Palmer. I feel like that would be hilarious. You want me to? It's just, okay, just, yeah, ice, it's just iced tea and lemonade, man. Easy peasy. I thought it was alcoholic. Oh, well, I mean, you can add booze to it, but oh, okay. like Arnold Palmer, like classically, is just like regular old iced tea lemonade, but. People definitely spike it from time to time, which does make it better, honestly. Yeah, I'd imagine it would. Iced tea is not something I drink. You can get Lipton's iced tea. Iced tea is not something you drink. What? No. What kind I, of Englishman are you? Who are you, Sean? It's like, I oh, drink... You're breaking all these stereotypes. First, you don't call it the loo. Then there's no telephone booths on every corner. Then you're saying, like, you don't drink iced tea. Oh, my that's, gosh. That's London stuff, Bill. Like, uh, <laughs> we're in the uh, north what, now, man. What is this? How many, how many parts are you... <laughs> I love iced tea for the record. I drink tons of iced tea, but that's that's a Texan thing too. Big tea. Yeah, but isn't your sweet drinker. though? Isn't it sweet tea? Mm-mm. Not no. always. Oh, I drink okay. unsweet and sweet. Sometimes I do just half and half. Ah, uh, some be people fair. make them too. It's make them too sweet. It's almost like there's syrup in it, dude. It's like I don't, I don't want to drink all that. I want something that's refreshing. 
Not like I'm drinking syrup yeah. over here. Like chai tea. Like chai tea. You're chai not gonna look that good. Chai lattes are chai lattes. Hey, chai lattes are good. I don't care who you are. The chai lattes are good. Put it on the record. Bill from BRBR. I love chai lattes. They're delicious. There's your bad Make review. them right. They're delicious. There's your bad review right there, people. <laughs> bad review. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, oh gosh. So, so crystal like... skulls, right? Yeah, um, I'm. I'm jumping back to it, Bill. Don't worry. I was just having a bit of fun with the Americans. Um, no, we had to. Uh, we have. Oh, you've got what, what kind of episode is it if we don't at least get off track for at least twenty to thirty minutes? Right. It doesn't feel right when I stay. People on track. would wonder, like, what's wrong with Bill? And were they sick? Did they have like a meeting <laughs> to get to? Did they? Did they just grow tired of each other on this one? Did they just cut it short. I was like, where was the random nonsense that they usually spew off about in the middle know. of the episode? Probably the size of your headphones were cutting off. Probably the, the size of your again. Brain. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as as soon as we for everyone to see, as soon as we got on she was like man those things seem to be getting bigger and bigger with each time you know what though do you know what though bill it's funny but they're great like, headphones everything sounds amazing yeah, through these I've things no doubt they are but there was, a, there was a really hilarious bit right the weekend which was only yesterday i was i was out because i need to buy some new headphones like these are Oh, there's hey, nothing wrong with them. Amazon. They're almost Amazon, at, yeah they're almost at the end but I, yeah. was, I swear to god i was in a shop uh, uh, Americans won't know, know what this is, but I, um, English, British, UK, if it will. I was in a shop called Boys, B O Y E S, right? And I was like, I need to buy some new headphones. And I just happened to stumble across the headphone section and I looked at a pair and they were that big. I was like, <laughs> this is legitimately the thought that went through my head. I was like, I can't buy those. Bill would rip the hell out of me. <laughs> I can't buy those. That was my swag. That was oh, my thought. I'd, I'd mess with these. Oh, man, I give you so much trash. Yeah. Oh, if you just walked on there after all the all the ridicule. Yeah. I was like, Bill will rip me if I buy those. So I'm still on the old ones, but give oh, it time. Man. Give it time, but I'll have hey, to uh, one soon. One of these next few episodes that we're on, I'm just gonna your screen your face is gonna pop up on this computer. And it's gonna be new headphones. Yeah. Can't like, wait. What the hell are those? Can't wait. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um yeah, so so back to the film. It's my fault. But the, I think this is where the criticism starts with the as soon as you get into the forest, this is when the criticism starts because I mean the sword fight feels pretty pretty real, but I know from watching because I've got a two disc special edition people, because I'm like that. Uh, and watching the behind the scenes stuff, uh, they added because they thought it looked a bit it looked a bit bland and it did, but they added it like did. they added CGI plants like to this corner of the screens and in the middle. So the sword fight, a lot of this is real, surprisingly for 2008. A lot of it's real, but they add this CGI, and this is where I'll come back to to the podcast that I quoted earlier. And the right, there's some of the CGI like at the front, and right the last scene where the interdimensional portal ship UFO thing takes off. Yeah, the CGI there is unbelievable because this is ILM people. This is like cream of the crop, oh, the yeah. mummy, the mummy nineteen ninety nine graphics, right? Gotta get that in there, and it's just unbelievable. <laughs> it's unbelievable stuff. It's not like the Mummy Returns, right? So you're watching it, it's great, and then you there's a few moments where you feel like they went back and went, actually, this looks a bit bland. Problem is, it stands out so it's terrible. I mean, it you know, does. Why, if it had taken one scene out of this film, it would have made the film like a, a whole notch better. Like, why did they have Mutt swinging through the trees and monkeys, Bill? Please help me on this. I don't. Oh, understand. Yeah. Where did that even it's come? So if I, if like the whole thing, it was the whole like gopher thing. I was like, Indy runs into the gophers in the beginning, then Mutt gets pulled up in the trees and turns like, oh, there's there's a monkey. Okay, <laughs> and then they all come flying through. It's just stupid. It doesn't oh, make any sense. It just so lost me. I was I was watching. I was like, this was in the movie. I did not remember any of. Yes, yeah, and this is where I come back to my point earlier. That the biggest criticism of this film is there's just some odd creative choices like that's yeah. what i mean like a little bit like war of the worlds which i reviewed with ben from film vloggers on his Love channel war of the worlds. whenever that comes out because it's not out yet it'll be out of time this comes out we were talking about that film that's a great film but there's some weird creative choices in it yeah that kind of it's a good film but it's kind of also a bit weird you can't kind of explain where it sits and this is kind of like this film it's the same feel like there's some amazing bits in it, but then there's also some bits that kind of make you think, "What the hell am I watching?" Um, I mean, yeah, oh, I've got, I've got to. I know I shouldn't, right? But I, I've already massacred the American accent. But the whole, bit, the whole bit where the 
Irina Spalko, which is the villain, by the way, we haven't mentioned her at all yet. With yeah. the bit where she gets to the end and she's in front of these beings, this year, and she's just like, I want to know. I want I to know. Want to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I just, I just, I, that always cracks me up. I can't help it. It's like everybody else bailed and then like her she just sees her guys get whipped up into the freaking portal to somewhere else and they're screaming yeah. and flying through and she's like oh after all that and everybody else is yeah. leaving and gone she's like no i want to know yeah i was like what i, I want why? to know why i want to know why and then at the end she's like cover it up cover it up and then yeah. she just she's combusts like, spontaneously like, no, combusts yeah, and flies yeah. up into the sky She's like, no more, no more. She's holding that. You can't see me, people, but she's holding like I am. She's holding yep. the hands over. She's like, no more, <laughs> no more. And then that, oh man, that scene where like the, the alien, like, oh, I was gonna say, whatever, I was just about to say looks, that. Looks, looks at her with that expression. It's like that. I don't care what you think of this film. That is chilling. That bit. That's like, yes. oh, that you know, she knows she's, she. Oh, what's the right way to put it? She knows she's gone up against something. That she is not ready for. She's not just prepared. infinitely like, more. Yeah, infinitely yeah. more knowledge is just being like passed into her brain. I was like, we can't. It's yeah. just not. No, it's not going to end good. It's it's like I can't think of a way to put it. It's like it's like if someone you're like you don't realize how. Oh, that's it. You don't realize how far out of your comfort zone you are. Like you have made a massive mistake. Like get the hell out of there. Like you yeah. don't realize what you've got yourself into here. You're way out of your depth, that's it. You are way out of your depth, lady. Get out of there. And she's just like, I want to know everything. You're like, oh, it's God, like, tell me, I'm ready. I was like, no, you're not. <laughs> no, Nobody you're not. is. <laughs> you're going to burn, but she doesn't listen. That's like earlier in the movie when Indy's like, he's like, be careful, you might get exactly what you wish for. And she's like, oh, I always do. And then it's like, that's what comes back at the very end. Yeah. She, I, I think she's a decent villain. As well as oh, the, big, the, big, uh, the big Soviet guy who... Oh, the, the, see, I don't Dude, mind the ant. His death's great. The, the answer, I, I, I like very few things that stuck with me after I saw it for the first time, especially again now. As soon as it came to the ants part, because I feel like forgot about it, you know, been how many years now? 14 years. And when it came to that part, I was like, oh, I was like, I know exactly what's coming. Yeah. I said, this one, that death stuck with me, man. That's yeah. brutal. Oh, man. But it was so good. <laughs> Actually, I, I don't know. I love the ants part. He yeah, just like just... really big ants run yeah. and like the whole thing just ensues. Yeah, that stuff's great. And she kind of climbs away. Um, I mean, again, shot really well, but there's just a, I think the ants CGI is decent. I think it was, I don't oh, yeah. know if, if it was an it's idea terrible. they had for a previous, no, not at all. Um, yeah, <laughs> again, then we get to the, my next note is, I'll be all right, Jonesy. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. <laughs> You like just we didn't need to... that. He no. was such a minor character that pro- provided nothing to the no, story. I know, nothing. I know. Just off you go, mate. Tootle well off. You're gone. Like we know you're gonna die. Just off you go. But like, why didn't he? Why didn't he just get pulled in? Why didn't he just? I don't know. Leave with everyone else. I was so confused. He had no reason. It's not like he like murdered one of the main characters and he's like, oh, well, I can't go back to you know England or wherever now. And I was like, I'm just gonna fly off into this portal. But I was like, you didn't do anything wrong. Like, sure, you were kind of a bonehead, but like. Just, just ending it with Jonesy. Jonesy, I'll be all right. <laughs> and, then, and then he just yeets back into the yeah, portal. <laughs> you're like, what? Like, where did that? Like, yeah, it's just. I mean, I think he had no. I, there's no reason. If there was a reason, I get it. But the okay. whole time, they, uh, my gosh. reason. I don't know what you think. Feel free to counteract on this. My feeling was that he was kind of the whole point was it was like. Don't worry, Jonesy. I go on. I go on to the next adventure. I go on. Like that was the hot. That's an awful accent. But that was kind of the idea I was going for. Yeah, he was, no, he was that, going that's, for the that's next, fair. Like, Don't worry, Jonesy. We've had adventures before, but I, I, I'll carry on in a different dimension. And then he just screams and gets battered in with all the rocks, and you're like, "That's not this blissful like, <laughs> like disappearance I was expecting." Like before, then the Soviet, like three Soviet soldiers get dragged yeah. away. As I really spoke, just, just, yeah. just disappears. And that's where we get the, uh, oh no, it's not, it's tell a lie. <clears throat> we get the Wilhelm scream earlier on where uh, yes, Marion the classic, drives, yes. off the, she drives off the cliff onto that like branch. That that bit's a little bit, mm, like you're like, oh God, like the CGI is a little bit ropey. That, no, not a little bit, ropey as hell right there. Oh yeah. Like, oh no. Um, <clears throat> but that bit's not bad. I mean, there's some great stuff though. The whole bit about where he, he he says, oh, there was loads of women, but there were never you, honey. And he climbs up and he gets the big, 
you know, rocket launcher fires it, and that massive like disc rips through all the cars and trucks and like cuts them in half. Yeah. And like, yeah, because afterwards you can see practically that seriously cut them in half. Like it's great stuff. But I, I love just, seeing that. I was gonna say that was yeah. one of the best parts. Is like they were actually then driving the truck yeah. that they made that was cut down the middle. I was yeah. like, that's so good. It's like I'd cover my ears if I were you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it's great. Uh, and then the CGI at the end was awesome. Like, oh, uh, and then you get John Hurt, like, like a foot, like, what does he say? Like a broom to their footprints or whatever he says. Yes. But it's like, uh, and it's like, oh, welcome back type thing. And then obviously you get the wedding at the end, which I really, I thought the, the end, it was great. You it know, was, they almost, there was one part, I don't know if you also, you probably know the same thing, but there's yeah. one part that could have ruined the whole vibe, but they did it so well. And that's whenever like, um, what's his name? Mutt steps back to like yeah, take a photo yeah. or something. The wind blows it open and knocks the hat to Mutt's feet, and he's like, picks up the hat. And he's like about to put it on it, and he just snatches it, yeah, yeah. And wears it, and then walks off. I was like, and oh, looks back at him, like, yeah. I literally held my breath there. I was like, oh, thank goodness. I was like, don't do that movie. <laughs> don't do that to me. I was like, I've enjoyed this too much. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was just like, oh no. Um, it was. Yeah, that bit. Like, if they'd have had that happen, you'd have been like, no. But no. I love the fact that they were like, no, you're not, you're not Indiana Jones, kid. You won't be. Let's crack on. Um, yeah, great ending. Exactly as, as the other Indiana Jones were. Really up, upbeat ending where you feel like you yeah. really enjoyed it. Because the, these f- movies, films, oh God, I'm doing it now, movies. The films were just pure escapism. All oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, the jury's out on the fifth one uh, for a few years. No doubt we'll come back and review that, Bill. Um, of course. <laughs> Um, when we're older and hopefully wiser. Um, and you, you you watch this one and you're like, I don't see why people hate on it. I get I don't, honestly. I get where they come from in terms of this bit's not great and that bit's not great, but overall, overall, like, what's what's your issue? Like, I would argue it's probably a little bit too long. To be honest, it feels a little long, but then again, it's only True. two hours. I mean, compared to what we've had since, it's not that long. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I, I don't know, it's uh. It's an interesting one, isn't it? It is. And again, like just like you said, it's like overall, it's like yeah, we have we have Shia LaBeouf and the and swinging from the vines with monkeys, and we have some goofy plants and whatnot. But which just that weird little like you know sequence. But everything else, man, it's like watch ever everything else. I said that's it, it. Still holds. I don't know. To me, he still definitely had the. Um, the character down pat after so many years. Oh, and yeah. the movie just had that had every essence of an Indiana Jones movie that needed to. Yeah, absolutely. Totally. So, Bill, any final thoughts before we come to the? I've got a rating section now. Believe it or not. Oh, okay. There we go. All right. I stole it. Oh, you know this. I, I messaged you, but that's a spot the illusion for the audience. But I, <laughs> but I, I stole this from my old podcast. So, um, the rating system. Oh, do you have any final thoughts before we get to the rating system? Anything I missed? Man. I don't think so. Oh think yeah, we, I've we... got one. I've got one. What is this? Um, why the hell didn't you make him finish school? Like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, don't, you don't worry about that. Just, just do what you want to, man. As long as you're happy. He's like, that was before I was your father. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere your grandpa is laughing. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, yes. uh, see, like that's that's classic indie. I love whenever he gets all heated and starts yelling like just ridiculous stuff. I was like, that's classic indie. Yeah, I like so the good. whole the whole first scene where he's like. Put your hands down. You're embarrassing us. <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah. yes. He's He'd been like, through it so many times yeah. before. He's like, I'm not going to put my hands up. Like, oh, if they're going to shoot me, it. they're going to shoot me. Yeah, I just I thought it was great. So, yeah. Um, so, the new rating system, it goes from number one, which is the worst, to number five, which is the best. So, number one reads, the reason I've never done drugs is to avoid experiences like that. That's so good. It's slightly stolen from a from a from a TV show called Two Pints of Lager and a Packet of Crisps. A genuine show, by the way. Um, the second one up is I probably wouldn't watch it again. Slash, I wouldn't even watch it if I was on a plane. Love number, it. Number three is I'd watch it on a plane. Do you know what I watched on a plane? Sorry to cut in. Uh, Finding Nemo when I was on the way to America. No, 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 not Finding Nemo. Finding Dory. Finding Dory. Yeah, yeah. I watched that on the nice. way to America and a couple of episodes of Game of Thrones, as you do. There um, you go. <laughs> uh, sorry, number four is I'd buy it from the pound shop slash Dollar Tree for the Americans. Dollar Tree. 
I, had, I was told to put it in. I've got to be fair. Hey, that's fair. That's fair. Um, and five, which is the top rain, is because I'm old fashioned, right? It's I'd buy it on two disc special edition DVD slash VHS because some Americans ask me to put the VHS in. Um, Batman and Robin, you know, you know how it goes. Um, VHS. <laughs> Bill's like, VHS. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So those, those are the ratings. Where do you think you'd rate this film, Bill? Man. I don't know. I'm such a. I, I freaking love the Indiana Jones franchise. I love everything about it. I honestly, I'd, I'd probably even with this one, after rewatching it now. Before, if you'd asked me before I rewatched it, I'd, I'd probably say wouldn't just wouldn't watch it again. Decent, not great. I was like, honestly, I'd, I'd, I'd definitely watch it again. Yeah. I would. So are you gonna go for? I'd watch it on a plane. Or are you gonna go for? I'd buy it from the pound shop slash Dollar Tree. I'd, I'd yeah, the pound shop. <laughs> I buy it from the pound shop. There you go. It's like we call it a pawn shop. So it, it sounds so familiar to 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 what we have, and so it's just so funny. It's like the pound shop, the pawn shop. Oh and no, so, it's so not it's like, a pawn shop. No, no. No, dude. I know you're not saying pawn shop. Yeah. It's that's it sounds so close to that. That's why I've I'm seen I've seen the program pawn shop. That, that's a good program. But no, I'm not, yeah. I think from what I've gathered from Twitter, which I, I gather people, I understand it's not the most, uh, you know, best of recent. Uh, well, best Twitter told me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not the best. It's not the most, you know. Hey, there's some awesome the, people on there. Yeah, I don't blame you. No, it's not like what I'd use as a citation for a dissertation, for example, but it's not the, <laughs> it's not the best resource. But all I'm saying is people have said that like the pound shop and Dollar Tree are kind of similar. So I'm going to steal that while I run. That's and fair. The, oh, definitely. The only, yeah, the only American star I can remember going to is like, was it called Harris Teeters? Which is like a was it like a supermarket in North Carolina? Oh, I don't know. I can't remember. But it was it's I've never been I haven't been to that many American places, so I just shoot out for what Fair I Fair enough. So, I would yeah. hey, I would buy it from the pound shop. That's what I'm going with. There you go. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um yeah, I, I I've had this in years. I must have bought this after it came out. I must have thought a lot of it, but I so said you already have the two disc set, so yeah. It's like <laughs> I enjoy, I enjoyed it. So I, I went, I, I picked this not because I thought it would break you. Hashtag breaking bill, but because True. I thought this will be a fun one to talk about. Definitely, because it's 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 something that was so fun. Because I was so curious to what you were gonna think. Because after I rewatched it, I was like, wait, I was like, honestly, I really had a good yeah. time. I was like, I wonder how Sean felt. And I jumped on Twitter before we got on here. I saw that you said the same thing. You're like, honestly, I forgot how much I lived there, or whatever you said on there. <laughs> yeah, people, um, people are disgusted. Oh, people are like. What? I, yeah, I saw just... some comments already. They're like, it's like, how can I downvote this? I was like, no, don't... yeah, yeah, literally, <laughs> literally, it. Bill. Somebody commented, and apologies, I can't bring it up right now. But somebody commented, I love this podcast, but I don't love this take. I was like, whoa, like, it's <laughs> a great, it's a great quote. Like, I was like, thank you for loving my co- oh, podcast. Man. I really appreciate it. Hey. But you didn't like this take. I'll take it. I'll take that. Absolutely, <sighs> absolutely, man. But yeah, oh, um, so uh, thank you so much. Do you know what? It feels like false to be like, thanks for coming on, Bill. Because I'm not doing this with the podcast. Thanks for stopping by, Bill. Yeah, thanks for stopping we'll by. see you at, next time. At the gas station, <laughs> Bill. No, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no I, I honestly, even if this wasn't recorded, I'd still do it. I, I enjoyed the conversation. Dude, we, it's, <sighs> it's a good time, man. Absolutely. That's why I was so excited. I was like, especially for a movie that we actually both enjo- genuinely enjoy. It was nice for yeah. a, a little change there. <laughs> This is going to do nothing for our credibility, but I loved it. No, no. Um, I, you know what? I don't care. I don't, I don't come on here and talk about movies for my credibility. I'll talk about the ones I like and the ones that I don't. As do I. <laughs> to be fair, though, I, I did a podcast with Stu from Stu World Order the other day. My and, man, Stu. Yes. Great guy. Great <laughs> the, guy. Um, the, um, the Batman and Robin podcast will be out not so long around after this one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he said some. I think he said September yeah, or something yeah. like that. Right. Oh wow, that's good. that. My credibility will be on its backside at that point, Bill. So oh, gosh. I'll be you, you're going to be it's it's going to be out in the open after that, Sean. I'll be a pariah. I'll be an absolute pariah. <laughs> like I really will. Oh, like gosh. get rid of this guy. He's disgrace. Get, Sean, who from reviews? Yeah. I, I'm never listening to that show again. <laughs> How can he say that? <laughs> <laughs> Start throwing up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, after no. you say that, man, people are gonna be throwing out the pouring out their desperados in the sink. You're like, nope, nope. Yeah, forget yeah. it. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Get, get in the tea bags and just throw them in the, the incinerator, like, get rid of it. This is <laughs> just burn it. burn it all. Um, <laughs> but yeah, but no, thanks. Thanks for coming on again, Bill. Um, do you want to tell? Oh, I mean, anybody who's listening to my podcast, I don't know how they wouldn't know who Bill from Bill Reads Bad Views is. Does anyone not know how to find me? Just just raise your hand. Just show your hands real quick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was, I was going to go, guys, anybody? anybody? Hey, anybody? Guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's classic. I never, I never classic, man. It. I wish I had. Oh, oh anybody? Gosh. Nobody? No one? You no good? One Everybody good? Nobody? All right. Nobody cares. All right. Well, we'll sign off with yeah. that. <laughs> just call it there. <laughs> Oh man! But, uh, oh, no, it's yeah. a good time, Sean. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for having me back. I know you're oh, you're, you're you're dialing back and and doing you know just like one episode a week now, like you said. And yeah. I'm just hey, well, just grateful we'll, to be coming back, man. I we'll see this. how we'll see how it goes. I mean, we'll, we will because last time I did this, it 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 didn't go well. It didn't get well received. Uh, so we'll we'll see how it goes. But no, oh, yeah, it, Bill, it doesn't matter. Like I'd still have you back every couple of weeks. I don't care if we Come record on. all the way till past Christmas. We can we'll do it. it. What are we doing um, next? What's what's next? Uh, oh no, I'll tell you what we're doing next. Uh Troy. Troy, that's what it was. Yes. But it's a three-parter with me, yeah. you, and Ben from uh Film and Friends. Ben. That's right. Just because I want to say welcome everyone to review it yourself. I'm here with Bill and Ben. That's what I want to say. That's it. Dude, uh, it flows so well though. It's it such a I mean it just it just rolls. Yeah, it was a it was a show over here, Bill and Ben, the flower pot man. It was like a kids' show. Oh god, remember like the sixties, fifties, it really old. But Bill and Ben, it's a, it rolls off the tongue. So, <laughs> Bill and Ben. <laughs> Although Troy is going to be awesome. Oh, but I've said to Ben, you don't swear, so I don't swear when you're on, at, or when my guest doesn't swear. So I might have to tell Ben just calm it down. I'm sure he will. Hey, hey, I want to see that. I've heard so much about the guy. I got to hear. I got to see him in, in, uh, the, in the real man. I got to yeah, see him in the real. He's yeah. He's come to bring it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so do you want to tell everybody um where they can find you? Uh, I was going to say what episodes we've got coming up, but um, I mean, yeah, it depends when this comes out, but just, yeah, go for it. I'm just going to go for it. No, you can find me on Instagram at Bill Reads Bad Reviews for all the movie trivia Tuesdays. And you can find me on, on Twitter at BRBR underscore Bill. I can never get those, Bill. Sorry to interrupt. I can never get those. Ne- <laughs> Come on. Never get not those. that hard, man. But they are. Uh, I can never they... get them. <laughs> no, I got not. so close one time and I thought <sighs> it was, I thought it was, um, I thought it was Get Out or something, and it turned out to be another one from a similar director. I was like, oh, come I on. always try and make at least either the the cover photo of the reel. I don't know if you look at the cover photos, but they're like they're scenes from the movies, big scenes from the movies. Uh, and so it's it's either it's either people get it from that, or if that's too tricky, I always try and put at least one. Well, actually, not at least one, maximum one kind of giveaway. No, I tell a lie. I tell a lie. I thought it was going to be the South Park one. I thought it was going to be. Um, it was a cartoon. Was it Bob's Burgers you did? The Bob's Burgers movie, yeah. yeah. I thought that was going to be, Um, I thought it was South Park. I was like, it's South Park. Oh my God, I've got it. For Somebody once. else said yes. that too. They said the same wasn't. thing or Simpsons. They was, said the Simpsons or yeah, South Park. I, yeah, I thought it was the Simpsons or South Park. I was like, I don't know which one because I don't really know the seasons. I was like, it's yeah. probably one of them. And then Bob's Burgers, I was like, oh, come on, Bill. I was Bob's so Burgers. close. That is honestly true. True. So close. I didn't get to put it out last Friday, so it's going to come out this Friday. So, oh, it'll, oh be well. up. it'll be up by the time this comes out. <laughs> but no, sorry, Bill. Go on. Sorry. But no, you're good, man. It, again, just happy to be here. And I can't wait. Dude, Sean, Bill, and Ben on Troy. It's going to be a good episode. It's, it's, it's going to be. be I mean, I'll have to. I'll have to wear me I haven't Bennett, seen it in so long, dude. Neither have it's I. Been, it's been years since no. I've seen that one. I've got a DVD sat there, and I can remember it being horrific. The only thing I remember oh, is it, I don't know if it's if it's Brad Pitt or or whoever just yells Achilles and just like screams it in the movie. I don't remember who. It was no, there. I'll tell you who shouts that. Isn't it Orlando Bloom? Maybe it was because you've got him as like the un- he's really young in it. And then I remember yeah. the only scene I remember about that legitimately the only scene at all is when Eric Banner, who plays Hector, gets killed at, by uh, Hercule- uh, uh, Achilles. Sorry. That's the only bit I remember because Pete Rotel plays his dad, amazing actor. Oh, That's oh yeah, all I remember. That's gonna be such a good movie. I, I haven't seen it so long. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be good. I mean, it'll have to be good or horrific. Who knows? We'll, we'll you find know what? out. It's gonna maybe, maybe it'll bring back the person who uh, <laughs> maybe they'll love the podcast and love the take on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I that's love this podcast, but horrible decision, Sean. Yeah. How could you love this podcast? Hate this take. I'm like, well, I hate this take. 
just to skip the episode. It's I've had fun. plenty of those. That- so many of those so far especially from some of my good friends who like who will tune in they're like like i can't believe like we had a, some friends come and stay with us this weekend and uh, they listen pretty regularly and uh, the husband he he goes on and on he will he won't let me forget that i didn't like spider-man no way home and he goes on and on every time i see him he's like, i can't believe you didn't like that i'm like dude i, I didn't like it man <laughs> <What do you laughs> but he like he's he, like messing me in a fun way about it yeah i, I mean I, um... again i know you're sos you're sick of superheroes man but I True. just I couldn't get on with that one. Well, it happens, doesn't it? We all have ones we can't get on. Oh with. yeah, mine's the Batman. <laughs> Everyone that's knows. right. Yeah. Everyone yeah. knows. That's that's a hot take. That is a hot take, man. Everyone uh, loves it. Why? Why I did love you it see so that? much. Even you... Madison loved it. Madison loved it so much, and she's like, honestly, I really like that uh, movie a lot. I mean, no, I can't say that. <laughs> maybe, maybe just maybe go back for the triple feature. Just make it a full nine hours. Oh God, no! It's, it's so six long. hours of my life. I've I'll never get back. I'm not watching it again. Oh, I don't man. care. Honest to God, the only way I'd watch that again is if someone was like, "We will guarantee you like two thousand pl- like listens." I'd be like, "Yes, I'm in." But Sign outside of up. that, no. Quadruple digit downloads. Yeah, I'm like, give me a bit of something, or I'm not bothering with it. But uh, no, uh, <laughs> thank you again, Bill, for coming on. I really, really appreciate. it uh, thank you to everybody listening. You're listening to for a few yourself, which is a sigh. Not an, ah, I haven't just finished it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> That's so funny you say that. I've never even thought about that until now. Like honestly, like sometimes it's not like, but for the most part, you do it with such, such like just, just like disdain, well, just, it's, yeah. just such annoyance. Like ah, review it yourself. Yeah, I, I, like, don't, oh, I don't know. Gosh. Yeah, because the irony of it is, I don't often review it myself. <laughs> but True. I always get True. somebody on to go. What did you think? Um, but yeah, thank you for stopping by, everybody. Um, you can find us on Twitter. It's at yourself review. You can also find us on Instagram. It's review yourself podcast twenty twenty one. You can find us on Good Pods, Good Chaser, not Good Chaser, sorry, Good Pods Pod Chaser. Um, wherever you listen to your podcast, please feel free to leave us some kind of review because I've had so much feedback from other podcasters about mine and Bill re- Bill's reviews. Please go and write it on Apple. Or, or, or somewhere go go review it because yeah i mean we really enjoyed doing it i wouldn't continue doing it if i didn't enjoy it but it is, it is nice to get that feedback you know that people think that we've got a good report i mean i, I know we have <laughs> bill knows we have but it's nice to get that it's nice to get that reaction from 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 people who listen um and yeah once again welcome thank you for listening to hashtag breaking bill i think i was a bit soft on him on this one but we've got troy coming up people so Keep an it's eye It's going to get good. It really is. And I bring in Ben, who's even more pessimistic than I am. So <laughs> let's see how it goes. But once again, thanks to everyone for coming. I really appreciate it. Cheers, Bill. Thank you. See you, man.